I'm Rachel Nutter. I manage the Business Incubator Scheme at the Carbon Trust as part of our wider innovations activities. Um, just wanted to take you through quickly um, a little bit about the Carbon Trust in general, but really focusing in on our innovations and investment activities as being most relevant. Worth a quick tour through Carbon Trust just because we're, we're quite a complicated organisation. We, we've Our remit is to accelerate the move to a low carbon economy and we've tried a number of interventions um, to address that challenge so you, you, that, hence we've, we've grown up in, into a slightly complex organisation now. So the main two things that we do are developing commercial low carbon technologies and we have a range of interventions there and I'll talk a bit about those. Um, and also about half of our business is around cost effective carbon reductions for um, everyone from FTSE down to SME uh, organisations, public and private sector. And I guess what we really focus on is bringing together public and private sector funding. Um, and, and we do that across, across our innovations activities and our um, carbon reduction activities. And that, that's a sort of important theme I'll pull out as we go through this as well. Um, we are an independent company funded pro predominantly by DEFRA, also a bit by Burr and the, and the uh, regions. Um, we can make profit, we just have to put it straight back into the business. So our activities cover five areas. I'll do a super quick canter through the first three of those and, and focus on the, the second, uh, the, the two at the end here. So insights is really about, um, we do a lot of work on explaining the issues around climate change. We uh, might put forward uh, positions based on evidence we found in other work that we do, uh, put forward our, a view on the way that policy and regulation ought to go. We've uh, been involved in looking at the ETS, offset that kind of thing so very much um, looking at it from a, um, a regulatory policy and an information perspective solutions is as I say is about half of our business so this is where we work with everyone from FTSE down to SMEs uh, looking at how they can reduce carbon emissions in a cost-effective manner and we're trying to be increasingly um, strategic in our engagement particularly with our larger clients now that's interesting for this audience because we see um, we've got uh, increasingly good relationships with some of the large um, industrial corporates. Um, we're, we're focused on the UK but obviously a lot of those have got international interests. Um, what we've seen over the last couple of years is that there's an increasing interest from those companies to engage in discussions about innovation um, and now we're even seeing companies coming to us and saying look I'm a supermarket you know I what's the next great thing coming through in refrigeration I can get my first lot of tar first 50% um, reduction in emissions where's the next 50% coming from how can I help pull these technologies through and I think that's been a a really significant shift in the last couple of years and something that we're certainly trying to um, exploit. Enterprises uh, is the part of our business where we create our own low carbon commercial businesses so that's everything from we've got a waste heat business, we've got partnership for mm -hmm. renewables which is putting um, renewables on public sector land um, and we've got our carbon labelling business as well and, and there's various other businesses coming through there as well. So I wanted to focus a little bit more, because it's, it's the most relevant area obviously for you guys, on innovations and investments. In terms of innovation, we're really trying to address the whole life cycle of innovation. We've drawn it in a nice linear line there from come up with a great idea, commercialise it. Um, obviously it's not quite as simple as that and, and you can see on the left there the, those four areas there. We're really trying to take into account that yes there's a technology journey, you're developing a new technology, but in parallel, you're also developing a business around that. You've got to get the market to recognise your technology and accept the technology. You're operating in a regulatory environment that may, um, may start against you, may be favourable, but it's certainly going to change over time. So we're, the interventions that we've designed are really trying to tackle all of those four journeys that you take in, in, in taking a, a technology from idea through to market. So we have three main areas of support within incubation, within uh, innovation. We've got technology accelerators which are focusing on a particular sector or a particular technology and trying to overcome the barriers there. So that might include, for example, we've done a large scale uh, smart metering trial. What does it deliver? Well, it identifies 6%, uh, companies delivered 6% uh, energy saving through the use of smart metering and feedback. So we can use that 
two years X hundred sites to provide evidence for policy support for increasingly smart metering. Um, we're doing a lot of work around marine devices and trying to reduce the cost of uh, particular components and improve the reliability of particular components. We've looked at combined heat and power on a, on a large scale. So there are a number of things there we're doing which tend to be um, cross, cross sector or across a whole technology area. Um, in terms of uh, research and development, um, we, pr we do a couple of things there. We provide grant funding, which I'll talk a little bit more about, and we're also doing um, research accelerators where we identify there are potential breakthrough areas and there's a particular strength within the UK. We're going to put in a significant amount of money into those areas and build a commercial vehicle around it and, and uh, take that through to market rather than doing kind of the small piece of the jigsaw, we're trying to look at that rather more holistically. Um, and then finally the business incubators which is about um, helping, the comp helping to build a company around a technology and helping that company to raise the finance and the partnerships that it needs to grow. And then finally we have investment. Um, so we have a, a two different um, funding areas, we have a seed fund and we have a main fund and I'll talk a little bit about those as well. So ideally we have a nice pipeline through from seeing all sorts of things through the R&D and, and technology acceleration phase through to the incubator where we're really helping them hone the investment proposition and, and that gives us a pipeline to our investments. 